All right, this is uh, QBasics uh, Reversi. This is uh, Microsoft's version, and uh, it also goes by the name of Thello. Um, and uh, I wanted to port this version to Turbo Pascal and Free Pascal. So we're looking at the QBasic version. And uh, if I just do a little gameplay here, we can move the, uh, the little cross here wherever there's a valid move. The, the circle uh, turns red from a crosshair, so I can put move there, I can put a move there, and pretty much the, the object of the game is to flip over as many of the, uh, the colors to your color, and the winner is whoever has the most at the end. Has a running score, has a, you can pass a turn, you can set the difficulty, expert, novice. It has online help. So very simple, uh, but very nice. So I wanted to port this version to uh, Turbo Pascal. And here it is right here. So this is running in Turbo Pascal. And again, it works pretty much the same way. The only difference is uh, on the menus here, I've cleaned up um, a little so that it doesn't leave the, the little background. See here how you see the, uh, the black background in the text? I've made it so it doesn't show that. I think it looks a little nicer. Anyway, and one final version. Since I converted to Turbo Pascal, that means I've also... Uh, converted it to free Pascal because it's pretty much the same. Uh, it has a, a compatible graphics uh, commands, so it works the same way. Again, this is the, uh, let me just minimize all this stuff here. So this is the uh, Windows 32 version. It still looks like DOS, but that's just the way it is. If you're not going to put any special effort into making it look like a Windows app. It's still going to look like a DOS app, but it is running in Windows 32, so that means you can pretty much run it on Windows 95, 98, XP. I'm not sure if you can go back to NT or 2000, but it's not using anything special, so possibly. Uh, so it gives you the option to hit all these different targets. Uh, Free Pascal also works with a number of uh, Linux, BSD, Amiga, so lots of different options to target. I'm not interested in any of those, but I am interested in the um, the Windows DOS versions and also the uh, the web uh, compiler, the Pascal to JavaScript transpiler. So that's my next option: try and convert this to that platform. But let me just go over the code here and see and show you that uh, I didn't very, I didn't change very much in the actual program to get it ported. So sometimes it's just a lot easier to take a piece of uh, QBasic code and convert it over than try to clean up a lot of uh, existing Pascal or Delphi code. So that's what I did in this case. I looked at the available code and it just wasn't very good. It wasn't very simple. Uh, so that's why I converted it from uh, QBasic. But also just to demonstrate that if you are working in QBasic, that it really doesn't take much to convert over something to Pascal. So let me just flip over to our QBasic version. So this is the code. Let's uh, let's kind of just scroll through it. Uh, so this is the main part of the code. No, that's not actually the main part. Let me. This is the main part. So here's all our functions, a bunch of constants, and uh, a record or a type here. And just take a look at how it looks. I'm going to flip to the uh, Turbo Pascal version. And again, uh, we have a slightly different beginning here with the uh, program name and uses the graph in CRT, which is not present in the QBasic version. The constants here are pretty much the same. I've uh, 
I've renamed the uh, the true and false. Turbo Pascal has a true and false type built in, uh, but this code does something a little funny. So I left it this way. I just tacked on QB in front of it just to let me know that it is a different type. I'll go through that uh, afterwards. But here's the, uh, the type uh, records here. Pretty much the same, everything, uh, including the, the string size. I've, I've made it the, uh, the same exact size. And I've had to do a few helper or wrapper functions uh, to get the key uh, press. I've simplified things a bit. I created my own function called getKey. It, it returns the actual values that the QBasic program is also looking at. So none of these constants had to change for the uh, left, right arrow keys. They're still the same. And uh, since um, Turbo Pascal doesn't have uh, a locate or a print command, I've, uh, I've created some wrapper functions that basically do the same thing using the uh, Turbo Pascal commands. Um, QBasic allows you to erase the contents of arrays. Uh, you can do erase in whatever the array name is, and it'll erase it. Uh, Turbo Pascal doesn't have that, but it has a similar function. Uh, so I did a little wrapper function for that. And everything else is pretty much the same. Uh, I, I just went line by line and converted uh, the equivalent QBasic code to Turbo Pascal. So in the, in the uh, subs, I changed them to procedures and functions I added the return type and also what type it is, uh, the input types here. Uh, by default, QBasic, you don't have to specify them, but you do in Turbo Pascal. So there's a lot of extra code here uh, that you don't see in the QBasic one. Uh, in the if statements, I added a, a begin. Um, also in, um, in places of the QBasic code, there was a case uh, statements. I just basically uh, removed the case statements and just used if statements. Uh, it's a lot easier for me to track uh, if statements than case statements. I don't know what that is. Um, but uh, it this to this only took a few hours to do. Um, and uh, let me just go over the area that I did change. So right here, this is one area where I had to do a little bit of typecasting. So in the QBasic one, you don't have to do any of this, but I did have to do it in Turbo Pascal. Uh, QBasic allows you to mix different types and it, it kind of automatically handles all the magic for you. So you, in a lot of cases, you're not even aware of that it's doing that. Uh, Turbo Pascal will stop and tell you that you're, you're trying to mix different types. And I think that's the, the biggest parts that I did change. Let me just scroll through this. Okay, there's one more area. And uh, having a hard time trying to locate it now. Okay, let me just search. Okay, here we go. So I added this uh, function in here to do a little bit of uh, code that QBasic uh, seems to handle without changing. Um, so there's a piece of code. Uh, let's find it. Right. 
right here where uh, QBasic does it all in uh, in one line without any errors, but uh, Turbo Pascal, you need to convert it to different types again. It was just a lot easier to create a function that did that. Um, so that's the... Uh, so basically, this would work if I did... I believe if I... If I did integer and I wrapped it up around a trunk statement and that would work, but I just thought that was too much, too confusing. So I, I created a simple uh, function that did that. Um, and I guess that's it. Uh, so if you ever wonder how difficult it is to convert something in QBasic with graphics, this might be a good example, so I'll leave it here. Uh, the code will be on GitHub. I might do a little more fixing up, so if you don't see it right away, uh, check tomorrow or the next day whenever this is published. And uh, thanks for watching.